Hey guys, um, <coughs> Gabriel here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, recover the music from your iDevice and just put uh, and get get those music files uh, onto your uh, Linux machine here. And um, all you have to do is uh, install this program called Music Brains Picard. I have it here, and um, all that does is um, recovers the file names. You'll see what I mean in a second. Um, you want to open up a terminal. You can like search in your desk, uh, excuse me, dash, if you have Ubuntu terminal, uh, and it should come up. Um, so from here, you're just going to type in sudo apt get install Picard. And hit enter, type in your password. Um, hit enter again and then it's gonna prompt uh, do you really want to s install um, you hit Y for yes and it'll install just fine um, as you can see here I already have just to save time um, after that you're going to plug in your device um, and then you're going to open up your home folder however you do that and uh, then you're going to click on um, the name, sorry, not not documents. Documents is bad. You're gonna click on the name. Uh, mine's jailbroken, but that's irrelevant. It'll work either way. Um, and then you're gonna go to iTunes Control, Music, and uh, here are all your music files. They're just kind of derpy, um, but as you can see, these are your legit music files. Um, from that point you can just highlight all of your files and then drag them into like I don't know you can make a new folder and uh, call it like I don't know music iPod pancakes I don't know whatever and then you could just uh, drag all of those files into here as you can see um, I already did that with one of these to save time um, and I think it's good yeah it's it's all right um, so then from uh, you, you could just drag those into music iPod pancakes and um, from there uh, you'll want to open up Picard so I'm confident that you will know how to open up Music Prints Picard. Uh, you know, use a computer. Um, and then you'll just drag your folders into the left side. It might take a while to load these. I've done this a couple times, so it's instantaneous for me. But uh, it, it'll it load them. And then you just um, click the unmatched files, then look up. And you should see some stuff showing up over here. And pretty much what it's doing is it's uh, connecting to the Music Brain server and pulling data, uh, pulling these names, these album names, artist names, uh, track names for each one of these tracks, and uh, showing them here. <coughs> Sorry, uh, freaking allergies. So, you know, this looks kind of good, um, pretty good right now. Um, while this is happening, I just want to say you want to make sure that rename files and move files is checked. Um, and then you are going to, you can just uh, select the top one here and the bottom one here. It's not, it's not done, but you'll, you'll see, you'll uh, get the point. You hit save and um, that will change the file names over here hopefully well, let's try this again um, save all right now derp oh yeah that's why um it's because I saved it into the music iPod pancakes um, as you'll see um, it changed the it, it uh, Change the tracks 
I, excuse me, I can't, I can't even talk right now. Um, it recovered the track names, um, and it also automatically clustered the these for me because I, um, I, I had I clustered them last time I did this. But uh, all you have to do is just hit cluster and then save again. So, um, and it, it'll um, cluster these by artist and then album name. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps um, if you're ever trying to, uh, to recover your, your iPod stuff. And, um, yeah, so I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to try to put out more content like this um, if you want to motivate me to do so. Um, you might want to subscribe. Maybe I could put up some more tips like this. Uh, maybe throw in some like simple hacking stuff. Uh, just anything Linux, if you're into that, you'll be interested in my channel. Um, besides that, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time.